So good morning, my beautiful people. My hands have finally recovered after laying the uh, laying the floor tiles and that brutal ad adhesive. Took about three days and two tubes of hand cream, but they're back to the normal soft self now. Uh, yeah, since since then I've uh, attached a load of the a load more of the pallets around the outside. I've still got round there to do, and I was going to do the oven. But I don't think I am anymore because of an error on my part, not leaving enough gap between the end of this end of this tile to accommodate for a another tile going up and some render because the tiles have got to come out slightly further because of the or they would have to come out slightly further because of the uh, pallets. Now I can't do that because of what I've done, so I'm thinking I'm going to render that. As always, it's my project evolves as it goes on because I make, I make so many mistakes. So yeah, so I've done that. Uh, this morning I've, um, with the help of my uh, technical advisor, got this table out. I can't tell you how heavy this table is. This table is ridiculously heavy. I had it in the house, keeping uh, keeping out of the way while I was building, and it's just so heavy. I mean, eventually got it out here i've got it on top i've give it another sanding down today uh, and giving it another coat of the fiddies oil i'm also going to get some of this products called nano which you can coat once it's thoroughly dry you can coat over and it gives it a proper finish which then you can put you can just about put anything on it so i'm going to give it a coat of that when it's done but the problem i've got is because i'm outside and i've just oiled it varnished it i've got all these weeds in the air you know there's little, they're like little white things and they just float around in there they keep landing on there's one look they keep <laughs> they keep landing on my table so i'm forever having to pick these out i'm just sat here waiting <laughs> waiting for them to land so yeah that's the job i'm on with at the minute i've uh fired the oven, oven up a couple of days ago we've had a couple of uh just basic meals out of there I've uh, put some potatoes in there and garlic they're just in there roasting away I'm gonna put some fish in um, but it is my intention to do a few co cooking videos and uh, yeah follow a few uh, a few recipes with with my own my own little twist uh, and now I'm I'm getting to the point where I can do that I'm just gonna say I've got a couple of things to finish off and then I can get on with that I'm see, really looking forward to it. There's one just ah, one was just about to land on my table, then it's gone. So yeah, it's coming on. It looks quite nice, especially at night when the lights are on. It just looks fantastic in here. I think everybody's going to love it when we have uh, when we have our little gatherings. This second piece is trim. Now, from experience, what I've done is I've 
offered it up against the wall, drilled all the holes in the concrete and plugged them. When I did that, this end was perfectly matched to that. And what I find is, once I've drilled it all and got everything ready and I put it up, it doesn't match that, which is, it's frustrating and I can't get my head around why. So, let's see. <laughs> to be matching now. I might have done it. I might have got it right. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad. Wow. I never expected that. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's not bad, it looked better when I sanded it, but there's a bit of a gap and I'm sure there's probably a way you can fill it and make it invisible, but I don't know what that is. <laughs>
seen you in Cody Drillstoke. What? No, seriously. <laughs> Drill stuck. <laughs> um, one sec. Got it. Drill has gone through that hole, and in the top there. There's a plastic bag that I used to block the hole so I could lay the concrete on it. So the drill's got tangled up in that plastic and I couldn't get it out.